Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new project in Rapid and also how to import some files that we are going to need on some later videos. So let's start by going to the Rapid uh, website. So it's rapid.com and you need to create, if you don't have it, you need to create an account. You need to sign up and it's completely free. So just go for it. I'm going to log in into my account. And so after you have an account, you need to create a new REPL. And REPL is basically a pro how they call the, the projects on their platform. So you can come here to the button on the top left, or you have also here. But I'm creating a new REPL. Choose a template. In this case, we are going to choose a C-sharp template, which is the language that we are going to use. And give it a name, or an events. Create REPL. And this will basically create a new c -sharp project with the basic template. The basic template is the Hello World uh, example. So you can see that if you run the project and to run the project, you press this uh, button at the um, top of the screen, in the middle, or top middle of the, the screen. And you are going to have the output of the program here on the right. So on this console window. So it's running the program and you can see this is really simple. It's just prints the hello world message into the console. And so this is the interface of the Replit. Uh, so you have the console window on the right where you can see the output of the program. Here you have the, the file that you are currently editing. And on the, the left, you have all the files in your project. And in this sample, we have only one file, only one file, I mean the one code file. Don't, don't, um, worry about all the other files just ignore them uh, for now and you have like this main file which is the main.cs which has a code to run and print the hello world message on the right and now that we have this you need to upload the files uh, and let me show you sorry to you can either upload a file or upload a folder in this case i'm going to upload a folder and you have the the link to get these files uh, on the description so you can you you need to also upload the, all these files into the project. They have the option to upload uh, a folder. So I have it here on my resources. I have the, the utilities folder I'm going to upload. So you can see that it are already detects that I have three files on, on that folder. I'm going to upload all of them. And you see that it creates a new folder here on the project with all the files inside. So in these files, I'm going to go over them. Uh, on uh, later videos, but basically these files are it's, uh, are files that I've created before to make it simpler to get some features that we are going to need. Like so, we have like um, a file to get all the player input. So the files just have code to ask the player to input a number or to input some text. We have the game print that just creates like print messages, like a little bit more prettier, you know, like printing messages. And we have the game random just to generate random numbers. And I basically created this file so that you can see that we, we still have some code on each one of them. And this is not code that I want to go into during the this series of videos. So I just created these files. So we have an easy way to get this functionality without implementing them for, um, from scratch. But we'll see it uh, on later videos. And <laughs> this is it. I mean, this is a really simple, um, really small video. I just wanted to show you, okay, this is Replit, how you create a new project, how you import the files. And on the next video, uh, we are going to deconstruct the actual sample that we got from the, um, from Replit. So we are going to deconstruct this Hello World uh, example and try to figure it out what's going on on this, just this block of code. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one.